guys, welcome back to another video. My first video back actually in this new year, 2019. To start things off, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about burnout and how it has affected me over the last few months. Now, I do not shy away from opportunities to talk about things happening behind the scenes, especially on this channel, and especially if it has things to do with my artistry, or in this case, my lack of it. <laughs> so if you're one of those people right now going, it's been almost two months since your last video, burnout, what the heck, I'll explain that real quick. I've talked about this before, but I am still working two jobs in addition to trying to be an artist. So the burnout that I'm talking about here is very much motivated by the survival jobs, which isn't great. <laughs> I'd almost rather be feeling the proper creating too much artist burnout, because in my case, it isn't a lack of motivation or wanting to create art, it's straight up the absence of time. Very frustrating. <laughs> Have I mentioned yet that it was just how holiday season here in the city, exhaustion definitely played a role there as well. Even working just one job during the holiday season here can be, I'm just gonna say, hellish. <laughs> Finding time for artistry at the very end of the year for me amidst an easy 60 hour work week is difficult. At which point my wife butts in and says, 60 hours? <laughs> That's cute. To which I'll reply with something sassy like, well, at least I get paid for my overtime. To which she will not reply and instead start sobbing and curl into a ball on the floor because accounting is what she chose to do professionally. You're doing great, I love you. The great thing about coming out of the other end of that situation is that I'm like <laughs> boiling over with ideas and projects, motivation, and all the things that I didn't get a chance to work on that I will now work on. So here I am back with this new video and with a lot more to come. So let's get started. In my last video, Don't Stop, I teased and sort of talked about what my next video was gonna be. I called it, I failed. Now I had that video scripted. Um, I had even shot a few things for it. I knew what I wanted to talk about, but ultimately I decided to scrap that particular video, and here's why. In that video, I was going to play back a video recording of myself singing at my first ever singing thing ever here in the city. It was a performance, there was an audience, I was on a stage, everything. Needless to say, I messed it up. The problem though is that over the months since that project, in my mind, I have only been categorizing it as a failure when I don't think I should be. Since there's been so much time between when I started work on that video and when I will finish this one, I've had some time to think about what the message behind the first video was. Ultimately, what I've landed on is that as an artist, it's incredibly important to have things to reflect on and experiences to grow from, but to fail. There's a real harsh finality to that word. Has that door been open the whole time? Come on. Just gonna be open for the first half of this video. <laughs> Oops. I can be disappointed and I can be embarrassed, but me thinking about that experience, reflecting on it even right now, and wanting to do it over again and to change the way that I did it, that's growth. It can't possibly mean that I failed. I need to be better about resisting against thinking that way. I need to be better than failure. I refuse to fail. That is a much better title. So for anyone bummed out that they're not gonna watch me mess up real bad, I mean, we're still gonna watch the video. <laughs> Hopefully now, though, we can do so through a different lens. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, some context before we get into it. This is a recording of me singing Something's Coming from West Side Story. Um, my wife was in the audience. This is her recording. And yes, um, they were allowed to record this performance. There was actually a professional videographer for this thing, um, but for whatever reason, my bit wasn't recorded. So I don't have a full tape of the performance. Um, I just have like this 45 second clip from my wife's phone. I wish that there was more, but I don't mind that there isn't more. <laughs> oh God. There's enough here. <laughs> I haven't seen this yet. Um, I watched it like immediately after the performance. Uh, I don't remember it that well. Um, I just I just know that it's uh, pretty bad. <laughs> oh my God, I'm sweating so bad. My hands are freezing. Okay, let's just, um, let's just play it. <laughs> oh God. Who knows? It's only just out of reach. Down the block on a beach under a tree. There's a miracle, do gotta come true, come into me. We're okay so far. <laughs> Could it be? Yes, it could. 
should. Something's coming, something good. If I can wait, something's coming. I don't know what it is, but it is gonna be great. <laughs> if I was my wife, I would have stopped recording as well. <laughs> that was so bad. Okay, okay. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it didn't start off too bad. Um, I could hear, um, I, do, I do have a lot of jaw tension when I sing, um, something I'm working on, but I, I could definitely hear it starting out there. It wasn't bad. Okay, so <laughs> I messed this up. <laughs> I didn't fail, which is an important point for this video. So what happened was I forgot the lines. This is a quick song, and if you're familiar with it, it goes through like three or four variations of like the same lyric. And I panicked and froze because I forgot which one was coming next. At the very end of this video, it sounded like um, like I picked back into it and I remembered where it was. That's not what happened. <laughs> the pianist had to stop. We started again, but, but I just kind of stumbled through the rest of the piece if I remember correctly. The nice thing though, was that the audience was having a fun time. I think either that or they just felt really bad. <laughs> After the pianist stopped, I was joking with them, you know, off to a good start, you know, things like that. They were laughing and you know, I had fun despite desperately needing a drink afterwards. It hurts a little bit watching that, um, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Look at me, the growth. <laughs> what will he do next? Okay, that's the end. <laughs> I don't know what else to say here other than take time to acknowledge your screw ups, but don't let it sit with you for too long. It has been nine months since this performance. I haven't been on a stage since then. I haven't sang publicly since then. Heck, even during like a regular voice lesson, I'll kind of go out of my way to avoid revisiting this song, even though it's still in my rep book. I think that we're all thinking that it's, it's time to just move past all that. If you like this video, um, thank you. I hope that you'll subscribe if you haven't already. You can find me on Instagram as well. I, I kind of post there exclusively at this point. I don't know what my next video is going to be, so it'll be a surprise whenever that pops up. And lastly, I hope you enjoy this short clip of me being sad and curling into a ball on the floor because being an artist is what I decided to do professionally. Have a good one, guys. Bye.